Good morning, welcome back to Bible in a Year. In our Old Testament reading today, we're in 2 Kings, uh, 2 Kings chapter 3 and 4. And what I'd love us just to have a think about this morning is our posture or our body language. And um, body language tells us a lot about somebody. So sometimes if you see a friend from a distance, even before they open their mouth, you can sometimes tell from their body language if they're feeling a bit low or a bit under the weather, you know, might have shoulders hunched or, yeah, just looking a bit sort of downcast. And in this story today, I want to focus a bit on the Shunammite uh, woman. Um, her body language says a lot. So when um, Elisha uh, wants to speak to her about what can be done for her, uh, she comes and it says she stands in his doorway. And there's a sense that there's that hesitancy, that holding back, you know, after years of longing for a child, she's just, I would imagine, worn down a bit, not too sure, um, not too sure what to hope for. And we see that then in her words where she sort of says, please don't, please don't raise my hopes. Um, you know, and, and then he, then he says you're going to have your son by this time next year which she does but then the worst thing happens and he gets sick later and he dies and uh, this time when she encounters Elisha after this awful thing has happened her words are quite similar um and that she says um you know, didn't I tell you, don't raise my hopes. And yet this time, her body language is completely different. This time, she has not held back. She has got on her horse. She has rode after him. She has flung himself at his feet. And so there's a sense that this time, she is really putting herself where the miracle needs to be. You know, she's really saying, I, I need this. I, she's gone to the man of God, the miracle man. And she's flung herself on him. And her body language actually says more than her words does. Her, her body language says, there's hope. I, I, need, I need a miracle. And I just wonder what our body language would say before God today, whether we would be the equivalent of holding back in the door frame. Like, I don't really know what I can expect from you, God. I don't really know what I can hope for from you. Or whether our body language would be one of just throwing ourselves on his feet, at his feet, throwing ourselves on his mercy and saying, God, for all the things that I need, for the fact that I just need you, I fling myself on you. And then I think um, one of the best things we can do is have a posture that of um, the woman that we read about just earlier on in the passage today, the widow who was so desperate, so desperate, and uh, the, the miracle of the oil, and she just put all the jars out, every single jar that she could possibly even gather from her neighbours, she put them all out and they were filled. And today, just the posture, I don't know if you can see my hand, I'm in a car, you could probably work that out, there's my hand, our hands just before him, like those empty oil jars, saying, God, would you come and fill me today? My body language, my, my posture before you is one of openness and need for you are good. Have a good day and I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless. Bye.